armed with the technical aspect, I was then able to show the world through my eyes, you know, what fashion could look like with someone that looks like me. Hi, models.com. I'm Nadine Jawari, and welcome to my exhibition and thesis. My first memory of photographs would have to be nine or ten years old, going through some sort of old family albums, images that showed connection and celebration. My mum and her sisters were very much into fashion and clothes, so there was sort of this timeline, I guess, of these incredible photos of these incredible outfits and hair and makeup, and I think that was sort of my first entry point into fashion imagery. I had a keen interest in art, but I never really explored photography, I guess. And I didn't really get to do that until I was about 16 and uh, did photography as an A-level. Darkroom, printing, you start manually setting your aperture, your shutter speed, film speed, etc. And so armed with the technical aspect, I was then able to show the world through my eyes, you know, what fashion could look like with someone that looks like me. I don't think I could define one special moment in my career. I think there's been quite a few. The pinnacle is being the first woman of colour to shoot a Vogue cover, and it's a 125-year history and an incredible experience, obviously under Edward Enifor. And then also, I would say my book, uh, Our Own Selves. I'm not a good communicator with words. And so for me, imagery has really enabled me to tell my story. My casting process, I used to use Instagram a lot. Nowadays, I work with casting directors, but I'm very involved in that process. For me, when it comes to telling my stories, it's a combination of things, it's location, casting, and the fashion. Colour is a huge element of my work. There's a lot of reds, a lot of pinks, a lot of orangey warm tones. I think they're just colours that I, myself, am just drawn to. The image behind me was shot in uh, Senegal for British Vogue. To see my work uh, hung in a gallery, curated and printed, for me it's always a really surreal experience. I think a lot of images today exist in a digital world and, you know, swipe on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like printing your images breathes a new life into a picture. And you see things that perhaps you haven't seen before and, you know, the colours read differently depending on the type of paper and the way it's framed and how the texture of the frame complements the image. So for me, all these kind of elements tie in to give you a brand new experience. And just to be able to, you know, have a space where people will come and see your work to me is still so bizarre, especially as this, I guess, is my first solo show in London, my hometown. So, <laughs> you know, for me, it's on the list of, you know, the achievements in life. I'm most interested in what people interpret and feel when they come and see my pictures.